Okay, uh, right, so to to put a spindle lock on uh, my dividing thingamajig, um, I need to take off a certain amount of this. This is the spindle nose. This bit uh, actually keeps the keeps the bearings completely clear of chips and stuff. Uh, what we're going to do is that there will be an aluminium ring that goes around here, um, which is bolted onto the front of the housing, and that will keep the uh, that will keep the, the crap out. Um, and that's where the spindle lock is going to be mounted, and we'll show you how that goes in a bit. But basically, I need to take this down to one millimeter more than this, which sits actually inside the housing. Uh, the bearing sits against here, um, and then that bit goes inside the housing. And you've got this it's sort of a yeah, that keeps most of the crap out of the bearing, and then there'll be a, a little bit on the front. So we're going to turn this off, and uh, and away we go. What we have here is the body of the divider. Punch the bearings out. Um, I'm not going to be turning this. Uh, that would be close on suicidal. Um, I do need to clean this uh, this front face up. I'm going to do that by scraping. Um, but I do need to, to punch three holes in it. Um, in fact, three holes there, there, and there. Um, I'm going to use the rapid division on the headstock of the lathe to do that. That's that. And we can now that's going to need a bloody good clean, but we're good. So we've got uh, three holes tap M4. I can't find my tapping guide, and uh, frankly, fuck tapping anything freehand. So what I've done. Is I made a tapping guide. It's a piece of old brake disc, drilled out to four, and then reamed H8, and that allows me to keep my tap square to the hole. I have a little square tapping guide somewhere. Lord knows where it's gone. It's got all of the sizes. But yeah. It's not exactly rocket surgery to make one. What it means is that my tap goes in straight, and once it's in, you can uh, you can then do a second run without the tap guide to uh, to get down to full depth. But you get down to a decent depth, and then uh, you're good. This is a machine tap, so in theory you don't need to, to wind it back out. You certainly don't need to break the chip. Not not in spongy cast aluminium shite like this anyway. But all it is a piece of square metal with a nice tight hole. And who doesn't like a tight hole? Now I did mention earlier that I punched out the bearings in this. Um, the bearing setup is that the two, it's got two 6006 bearings which sit on a small shelf on the inside 
and then there is a sleeve that runs down the inside which uh, which allows you to preload and take up all the slack. As soon as you've taken the spindle out, there's enough slack on there that you can actually get in and punch the bearings out, tapping on the outside cage. If you're going to tap on the inside cage, your bearings are toast. The tapping on the outside cage is fine, as long as you go gently and don't you know, mangle up the bore. Um, I've seen a few people moaning about this, saying that you know oh, no, it's, a bad, it's a really bad idea. Um, it's not. The people I've seen moaning about this are, let's be honest, uh, bicycle engineers, bicycle engineers, bicycle maintenance men. Um, they're saying, oh, you should use a puller. Well, if you use a puller on there, you're actually going to be pulling on the inside race and. Uh, that's that's much worse news than tapping on the outside race. Um, the idea of tapping is that you tap on the race that's being that's being jammed. So, you know, I pulled the pulled the spindle, which is a which is just a, a tight slip fit, and then you tap the bearings out. Which are uh, an interference or press fit into uh, not an interference fit, they're a press fit into into the into the, the housings here. So basically, yeah, you, you push them out just just against here, and you don't damage the bearings that way. You can reuse them. Now, the only reason that I would be doing that is you know, reusing pulling bearings just for the sake of it is uh, is stupid. Um, that's another bicycle mechanic thing. Um, pulling bearings and then putting them back in again. Um, I really don't like doing it, but in this case, it's not exactly going to be spinning fast, um, and it's not exactly critical to be honest. Plus, I don't have any spares. Well, I'm going to work pig's ass of that, so actually I'm going to make a new ring. Uh, what happened? Drill wandered off, blew through the side, only scuffed the, uh, the body, but there you go, it was a bit tight actually, eight through there, it was only just over nine thick. Um, so we have to make a new one, this is some foul material, it's really horrible. So, uh, just Taking out a hole in the centre, which is way too small. Um, it's, uh, it's an old casting. This is um, from, from my old work. God, it's foul. Uh, so we're going to now. I can grip that on the inside. Turn the outside down to the diameter. Try again. What a pain in the ass. So what we've done is we've taken a piece of horrible casting uh, cast aluminium. Uh, it's about the only aluminium I've got that's the right size. I've got a piece of steel I could have done it with probably. Um, taking it down to the outside diameter, cross drilled it before taking the inside diameter out, which is what I should have done in the first place. I've put my locking piece in there and that's uh, that's now gluing. A uh, piece of super glue to hold it in place. Uh, it's already drilled and tapped. Um, and now what we're going to do, well, once uh, once the glue is hardened, is we're going to bore out the centre 
to the uh, requisite 56 millimeters and to fit the uh, to fit the spindle and then we will split the uh, split the locking piece and uh, Robert is your mother's brother and there we go it's all back together so which is this okay there's a bit of a free play issue going on here I think might need to, to skim a little tenth off somewhere but if we tighten this up slightly locked completely so quarter of a turn to lock and unlock uh, basically it's, a, it's two cotters that pull against the lock again uh, pull them in and it locks against the spindle and there we go now I should have I should have made this from steel rather than the horrible piece of cast aluminium that I made it from I may actually eventually remake it oh bugger may eventually uh, remake it at some point but there we go now um, in, a, uh, in a, a completely unrelated thing I noticed that uh, that Google have started chucking ads on my videos Google can fuck off with their ads um, I would strongly survive, uh, strongly advise you to install an ad blocker if you're using a recent ver a version of Chrome it probably won't let you do it so it's probably time to move away from Chrome go to something like Brave or Firefox or even Opera um, anything that allows you to get rid of the ads because ads are shit anyway have a good one guys Bye.